Can an average Minecraft player like me kill every hostile mob, visit every biome, eat every food in the game, get every potion effect at the same time, acquire full netherite armor, and get every single Minecraft advancement on just half a heart hardcore? I think it's a good time to mention that I have never actually gotten all the advancements before, so I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Oh my god, there's two blacksmiths, what? The top left is where I'll be keeping track of all 110 advancements. You heard me right, 110. Yo, what is this chest, bro? Hopefully the other blacksmith isn't bad. Okay, I may or may not have spoken too soon. This spawn was perfect for all the starter advancements, so I got to work right away. After acquiring hardware, I made a bucket for tactical fishing, and then I started the balanced stat advancement, where I would have to eat every food in the game. I took a quick nap for sweet dreams, I started to tame a cat for a complete catalog, where I needed to tame every cat variant. Yo, why is this so fast? Please eat this, eat this. Yeah. Here, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh my god. Okay. I tamed another cat, started breeding animals for the 2x2 two two advancement, tamed another cat, and finished up eating the rest of the food I had left. This is my progress so far, and the lit ones are the ones I've completed. We're halfway through a balanced diet, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go for the easy advancements first, and then we progress. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's pretty deep. And after finding a cave, I started off killing every hostile mob I saw, which was one of the advancements I needed. But this was really risky, because if I took just one tick of damage, the run would be dead. Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. That is insane. I had to navigate really carefully as anything can come out of nowhere and kill me. What the? What? 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 Oh my god, my shield broke, my shield broke, my- <gasps> Oh my god, wait, go, 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 After almost dying several times, I made my way to the nether, where I needed soul sand. Oh my, what the? What the hell? What is this spawn? While I was getting soul sand, I spotted a bastion right near the portal and got the advancement, but I would have to come back later. And then I needed to kill a piglin and a zombie piglin for monsters hunt. We run, we run. I think we got it, we got it, we got it. We just gotta run. Oh my god, they're on me, they're on me, they're on me, they're on me, they're on me. Oh my god, yo. Yo, if it comes through the portal, I'm cooked. After going back to the surface, I found a wandering villager which was exactly what I needed. Now you might be wondering why I came back from the nether so quickly. Well, I needed soul sand to build a structure that will allow me to get three advancements at the same time. So after putting everything I didn't need away, I got straight to work. And this was probably one of the coolest ways to get an advancement in Minecraft. Okay, that took way too long, but I reached it. And now all I have to do is build this little platform for a villager. Okay, and then I'm gonna place water here. And then I dig back up. And then I'm gonna place all the kelp here. And then I have to go back down. <laughs> move, move. Okay, we did it. Okay, oh my god, okay. Alright, and then we trade- Yo, what is- This is a s Five emeralds for a jungle sapling! This is a scam. What is wrong with you? What? Bro. Okay, I guess I'll buy this. Like that, man, please, yo, if we die here, we'll be very mad. Let's go! Let's, let's go! That was so cool, what? Let's go! So now I'm gonna try to get the nether advancements, which for me shouldn't be too hard. My first step after going into the nether was to loot the bastion, and as long as I had gold armor and the lava bucket, this wouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yo, yo, yo. Oh my. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh my god. That was too close. Yo, oh my god. You imagine like one like drops on me. I could get two advancements right now. This and that. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I think we finished looting the bastion. The loot was not that great, but. Oh my god. Wait. Did I get 12 pro- what the hell? And I was finally off to the fortress. Traversing through like the basalt delta is like fun when you're not on half a heart. Yo, like it is so scary. Like one mistake can like end the run. Like it's insane. I'm only gonna use golden apples when I'm like near mobs. But like other than that, I don't think it's necessary. I only get the two hearts for two minutes. So I have to use them. Oh my God. We're gonna drink this. And that's two advancements right there. Oh my god. <laughs> and after getting all the rods I needed, I killed a wither skeleton, gathered nether wards, killed a hoglin, got glowstone, visited my final nether biome. Let's go! Made an anchor for nine lives, rode a strider, killed a skeleton from 50 blocks away. 
Oh. Now, I was finally ready to beat the Ender Dragon. But before I do that, I decided to prepare a bit. And this happened. <gasps> How am I not dead? What the hell? What the hell? How am I not dead? How am I not dead? How am I not dead? Did the armor save me? What? And realizing I could lose everything to something so small like that, I needed to be more careful. Okay, so with protection one and a golden apple, I should take less damage. If, if I do take damage. Oh my god. 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 After getting fire res and the spyglass, I was off to the stronghold where I got books, kill a silverfish, and it was time to beat the dragon. All right, off we go. Let's go. Alright, this this shouldn't be too hard. So the strat is to just look down so I don't anger any Endermen. As far away from the crystal as possible. I'm gonna drink my fire res. Let me shoot it. Yo, chill, 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 chill. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, that's bad, that's bad. It did like one heart. Okay, the Endermen are after the Ender Dragon. I thought I thought I thought they were after me for a second, but we're fine. Always look down. <gasps> oh wait, oh, oh wait, I just, I, I almost forgot. Okay, I have to do this. Pick this up. Let's go! <laughs> that wasn't too hard, let's go. And that is... 49 achievements, let's go. Everything up until this part of the run wasn't too difficult, but the real challenge would start as soon as I enter the end gateway. Okay, oh my god! This game loves me! Apart from saving time, an end city being close by would make it easier for me to transport a shulker back to the overworld later. Now, end cities would not only be important for an elytra, but also one of the 8 armor trims I needed. But this city didn't have a ship and only had 2 chests, so the loot wasn't all that great, which was already a bad start. But I would realize how good this seed was when I found another end city with a ship really close by. I think, am, I, am I gonna run out? Oh my god, there's another end city. Oh my gosh, and there's a ship. I just can't die, and this is like the most OP seed ever. This is like the lowest ship I've ever seen. Like, it's so close to the ground. Golden apples would be my best friend because shulkers are really annoying, especially a bunch of them shooting at you. But after killing shulkers, looting chests, and acquiring better gear, I made my way to the ship. Okay, I'm gonna build with these. I get hit by the shulker, and then we. Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, that was so close. Maybe we can just kill this guy. Let's go! 52 advancements. We're almost halfway there. Oh my god. Looting three. No, that, that this is insane. Let the shulker hit me and then eat the chorus fruit. Let's go! Yo, chill, chill on me, chill on me. And we're <laughs> Now, you can tell I was pretty tired at this stage of the run, but the elytra would be a game changer. So, I immediately went back to the overworld and got to work right away. I started off with the easy advancements, and the elytra helped out a lot because I was able to travel places quicker. And this was honestly so much fun because a lot of the advancements I didn't even know existed, so I was discovering new things. I then got books, started enchanting, lured 5 unique mobs into a hole and shot them for Arbalistic. I then tricked the game into thinking I hit a bullseye from 30 blocks away. I mended my elytra and it was time to get the most annoying advancement ever, killing a ghast in the overworld. And then... <gasps> okay, okay, you're in, you're in, you're in. Move, 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 move. There's a skeleton to make it even better. Yo, I'm actually about to die. Yo, I'm actually about to die. Okay, I gotta go through the portal first. Okay. Okay, I got the subspace bubble achievement. I have to go back now. Okay. Let's go! Oh my god. I was at 69 advancements and everything was going really smoothly. Oh my god, I finally got one. Okay. Oh my god, finally, 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 finally. Hold on, let me let me show you guys how much like wither skeleton I killed. <laughs> Yo, th three, three skulls for one. I killed 157 just for three. That is insane. I spawned in a wither under the end bedrock so I don't take any damage. I was getting advancement after advancement with ease, but things were about to take a turn for the worst. 
Throughout this entire run, I was getting really lucky. And, well, my luck was about to run out because you are about to witness the most insane thing that has happened to someone in a Minecraft hardcore world. So I've mending on my ledger and I think for now, I'm gonna finish up the adventuring time advancement because I only have 18 more bombs left to visit, so we can just speed run through this. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? What was that? What What just happened? I, what? All that effort, all the hours I put in, just for me to die to a glitch. I was burnt out and didn't have any motivation at all, so I decided to just scrap the video. Until I realized that I already put so much time and effort. I got so close and if I just gave up, everything I did would go to waste. So I created another world and tried again. I kept dying and dying over again. But during each new run, I was slowly getting better and learning from my mistakes. There was no room for failure. And on my 46th attempt, I got the perfect seed. Right off the bat, there was an ocean and mountain that spawned. And if you didn't know, deep dark biomes tend to spawn in a terrain that registers as a mountain peak. The deep dark biome will be important for the how did we get here advancement. But for now, I started off by getting all the basic and easy advancements in the overworld, prepared for late game, went to the nether to loot the bastion, killed the gas, got blaze rods, went to the stronghold, Looted the library, beat the ender dragon, found an end gateway near an end city, which would be easy to transport a shulker later. Got an elytra, set up a base of operations in the overworld and started enchanting, flew thousands of blocks and found a woodland mansion, where I got the vex, armor trim, and a totem. Oh my god, the vexes are annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on, come on! Oh my god, okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Goodbye, goodbye, I'm out. But after realizing I didn't get the Vex kill credit, I had to go back and kill it. Looted desert temples for TNT and enchanted golden apples, and then I went for the harder advancements. Killed a gas in the overworld, got a trident, killed an elder guardian for the tide armor trim, killed more drums for all 8 nautilus shells, got all 3 sniffer eggs, I finished up getting all my gold for a level 4 beacon, but while I was leaving the bastion, this happened. Oh god, what am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I popped the totem. And because I didn't want to take any chances, I lured a villager out in the middle of the ocean, almost died trying to kill a pillager, but after killing it, I got bad omen. I started a raid from a safe distance, and killed every raid mob, and got hero of the village. I ended up getting 5 totems, which is more than enough. I blew up TNT for netherite. After popping my totem a bunch of times, I was able to get my final wither skull. I killed the wither, finished visiting every minecraft biome, tamed all 11 cat variants, smelted all my ancient debris, and got full netherite armor, threw enderpearls to kill an endermite, Killed two phantoms at the same time, got a bucket of tadpoles, leashed every frog variant, and then I brought each variant to the nether to kill magma for all three frog lights. After over 11 hours of playing, I was finally at the home stretch. And the next thing I did was setting up how did we get here, getting all effects in survival Minecraft. So after finding a deep dark biome that was close to spawn and the ocean, I made sure not to set up any shriekers and broke every skulk sensor around the shrieker. After following a buried treasure map, I found Heart of the Sea, which was the last thing I needed for a conduit. And after placing all my gold and my beacon, I made a hole for the beacon to light up, and I got two advancements. I started building up the contraption, I placed my conduit, and brew all the potions I needed for this advancement. I made a hole from surface to transport a shulker and dolphin. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh my gosh. Finally! Oh my gosh, okay. It's through the portal now. Now we water it, and then move it to the overworld now. And then we move it to the deep dark right now. What the hell? Wait, yo, what the shulker? Wait, what? What in the- okay. And... Oh, we got an advancement. What? There we go. So after blocking it off, I gave a dolphin slow falling and flew it down. I started a raid and got hero of the village and got extra totems while at it. I needed bad omen again, so I did a drive by and killed a pillager. And the last effect I needed was mining fatigue. So how this works is I'm going to splash on my potions. I'm going to place a shrieker. I'm going to break the TNT and then consume all the other stuff I have left. But I need to make it quick. So after losing some of my hunger, I went in the monument to get mining fatigue. And if you noticed, I went the wrong way because I was so nervous, but I needed to focus because I only had a few minutes before the effects ran out. Okay, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm It's like shaking. Where is it? Okay, it's... Okay, it's here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> only have one attempt at this. I can't mess this up. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Eat this. Oh my god, 
Let's go! Oh my god! Let's go! Oh my god! Finally! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm finally done with one of the most hardest Minecraft advancements! Oh my gosh! I only have a few more. Oh my god! Well, I think I can. I think I could do. I think I could do. I don't even care if pop my totem. I'm like. Wait. Oh my gosh! Okay, how much advancements do I have? Hold on, let me check. Uh, okay, I've not. Okay, eleven more. Eleven more. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! I don't even care. And sometimes the player Let's believed go. the universe had spoken to it through the zeros and ones, through the electricity of the world, through the scrolling words on the screen at the end of a dream, and the universe said, "I love you." And the universe said, "You have played the game well." And the universe said, "Everything you need is within you." And the universe said you are stronger than you know. And the universe said you are the daylight. And the universe said you are the night. And the universe said the darkness you fight is within you. And the universe said the light you seek is within you. And the universe said you are not alone. And the universe said you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said you are the universe tasting itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said, I love you. Because you are love. Let's go! Oh. I'm going to bed. Oh my god.